Good evening, my good. Slash. Yes, we like Slash. And we like meat grinders. And yes, what? The Prados is quite literally if Slash and the legendary Chrono Prime had a baby and pooped out a quality of life version. Seriously, it's a really fun weapon to have. And especially with the parkour velocity and the sprint speed, it's amazing. Now, you know the deal. How these videos go. Where to get the weapon, the build, what it's good for. Let's begin. Firstly, Incarnate Weapon. Hey, <laughs> Painful grind, but worth it, I would say. That means Zaramon chrysalis cavalera and that means evolutions the first one is the incarnate form and for those of you that have never used an incarnate weapon for the prados when you get to five times combo you heavy attack to activate your incarnate form which gives you extra range and attack speed which is honestly huge it's big damage because you attack faster and you have more range Duh. Now, this is a very important thing to know. You can reset the timer if you slam attack with five times combo so you can keep your incarnate form up. Very important to know that. The second evolution we go for is Whirling Fury, which gives you 20% attack speed. Always good to have. We like attack speed. Shockwave Synergy is the third one. Now, there is a reason we use this, which I will explain when I do the build, but this helps us a lot when it comes to getting our combo up when we want to activate our incarnate form. The next one is Evolved Ascension for that nice quality of life and extra parkour velocity which equals more speed and the last one is universal readiness this can be swapped out for the heavy attack speed if you want to do a heavy attack build but this is really nice for that extra combo sustain for every ammo pickup you get combo which is honestly really good now the build slash build yep personally i really like slash build so here we go sovereign outcast always when it comes to tonfas always use sovereign outcast Berserker Fury or Quickening, whichever one you want for attack speed. Weeping Wounds so you apply more status effects. Primed Reach for more range because range equals more hitting, means more combo sustain, and so on. Blood Rush for more crit chance. Bane of Choice for more bleed damage. Condition Overload because, well, to be honest, melee is mid without priming and this mod is OP so it makes melee fun again. That's just my opinion. Gladiator Might for that crit damage and crit chance per combo multiplier. And the Organ Shatter for that crit damage. This build is pretty much just focused on applying a whole bunch of status effects, specifically Slash and Melting Grenier enemies. If you want to take on Corpus, just swap out one of the mods for Toxin. For the primer, we use the Epitar. I would highly suggest getting yourself the Epitar. Here is the build here. It's really great. Now, for those of you that don't like the priming playstyle and just want to use your melee or you don't have a primer setup, then, my good tenor, here is the Viral Slash variant build, which is just designed for you to apply Viral and Slash and just hack your way through missions and not have to stress about it. Regarding the Evolution Shockwave Synergy, the reason we run this is because your combo sustain with this Evolution is super easy. Like, genuinely, it's a joke. So it's really nice to hop around and just slam attack a few groups of enemies and there you go, you are 12 times combo, really easily. You can also swap this out for the sprint speed if you don't want to do this, but it's really nice to have. The Prados is just a better quality of life Chrono Prime, and if you're looking for an absolute meat grinder of a weapon, then the Prados is for you. The parkour velocity, the speed is just mint. Like, it's really nice to have. And if you pair this weapon with the Epitar as well, with Amalgam Barrel Diffusion, which gives you extra dodge speed, you can make any frame a lot faster, which is really nice, but it takes some getting used to, I'll be honest, because sometimes you just slap yourself into a wall. You can build the Prados for heavy attack, but personally, that isn't my playstyle, and I find it to be a bit clunky, but if you do enjoy it, then you can build something like this. If you want to take the Prados even further, yeah. take Excalibur, Put Furious Javelin on, the Augment, and Subsume Eclipse, and you have so much damage. This goes for pretty much every melee weapon, though. It's super fun, like a lot of fun. And that's the Prados. It's got amazing slash damage capabilities, and it does big PP damage. With great quality of life features, it's great. Get it. I would go as far as to argue that it's the king of Tonfins. The Crone is still amazing with a Riven, but the Prados with the quality of life, it's just, it's just so good. It's the king of Tonfas, in my, in my honest opinion. Also, it's nice to have if you're wanting to speed up general frames. So even if you don't use the Prados or Melee at all, you can change the evolutions for the sprint speed and the parkour velocity. And then you can use the Epitar with the Morgan Barrel Diffusion for the dodge speed and literally just make every frame have insane movement and a lot faster. It's almost like a great movement stat stick in a way. It's really great. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't need to say more for the video. That's all you need to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'll see you on the next one.